folks, it is local history month uh, and much though I hate hashtags, I shall just tell you that uh, you can find most of the stuff uh, on hashtag local history month. Uh, but I thought today I'd tell you a little bit about uh, my own small way that I try to keep a little bit of local history alive. Uh, you might know that a few years ago we started the Wee Tram, which uh, our little carriages, our little red carriages are based on the old red and cream tram cars that would have served the shipyard back in Titanic's day. Uh, I really enjoyed doing the research for it. Uh, you might know that down at the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum at Coltra they've got lots of different models of lots of different generations of Belfast trams. For me this one this is my baby uh, the red and cream standard red trams that's the model that would have been used in the shipyard in 1912 when Titanic was being built and so we tried to get our proportions and colour schemes as close as we could to those old 1912 models. Now you'll be shocked to learn that in the middle of researching all of this I became a little bit of a tram nerd so today I thought I would share with you a little bit of uh, some of the video footage that we found of all the different years where Belfast was served by these lovely old trams. So to begin with, at the turn of the 20th century, the trams were all drawn by horses, but in 1905, just before Titanic's time, they were all converted to run on electric. Still something really romantic about the pictures of the old horse-drawn trams in the city centre. I love in this clip, you can see the tram for the Orma Road there, and then you can see the tram for the Malone Road. And if we slow it down a wee bit, you can see only the finest type of gentleman travels on the tram to the Malone. Now I don't actually have any video footage of the electric open top trams from Titanic's time. The next bit of video I've got is from 1924 when they had added a covered upper deck uh, to those open top trams and in this footage you can see them leaving from the shipyard. This is the Queen's Road and I think that building that you can see on the right hand side of the trams is the old engine works which was where the Metropolitan College is today. I love, in this clip, did you notice the wee bunch of guys nearly being wiped out by one of the very few cars on the road? I'll slow it down so you can see it properly. Then by the 1930s, there were these quite cool, futuristic-y kind of looking ones. I think this is on Royal Avenue. Another bit of great driving in this clip. And they operated alongside some of the old double-decker ones as well. So incredible to think that for all of those decades, Belfast had an eco-friendly, electrically powered tram system. The kind of public transport network that most cities would give their eye teeth for today. And yet by the 1950s, it was seen as old and outdated. The old tram lines, the electric lines overhead were ripped down. The tram lines in the road were ripped up. And 1954 saw the very last tram journey in Belfast. And it actually departed from the Titanic Quarter. In fact, it departed from right outside the drawing offices, which is now the Titanic Hotel. So you can see the guys getting on here, ready for that last tram journey in 1954. Little did they know that on that same spot, 60 years later, the electric trams would make a reappearance. How cool is that? Of course, like the rest of us, the tram is currently tucked away indoors. But in 2020, as in 1954, we can say we don't know exactly when, but the tram will ride again. And so we pray. For light in a dark world. For hope in a fearful heart. And peace in a troubled soul. <laughs>